And so welcome back to an episode of Numbaka, episode 10. Last time we just had, I guess just the last, last little bit of the backstory on the fucking triads and a bit of Troy's showing his powers, you could say, I guess, and then going to the other quote-unquote handsome guy showing his powers. Yeah, I really don't like how this this anime has been has been turned into more of an action anime instead of comedy. There's still comedy in it, but I feel like it's just contrived action, and just it just doesn't feel right. It, it, it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel right. Ah, well, either way, mm, let's just get started, I guess. In three, two, one, go. Like, I think, yeah, they should really just have a more stylized action. And all these powers are quite, quite contrived. Like we know, like we know, but building five is like martial artists and you know more Chinese martial arts type of thing. So, smart charting is fine. It's fine as a quote unquote power or whatever. But what the fuck was with these the quote unquote handsome building? And having a fucking psychopathic engineer. And this multi personality guy. Like what what is the like connecting thread of their you know specialty? It's not a guard. Okay. Oh, we dealt with the problem. Just continue hitting his head. Knock him out. Give him brain damage. Okay. Ah. There's also this whole fucking opening. It has it has this whole party vibe. But like it it's like a death parade type of vibe. Flyers. Like, let's go party, but Death Parade uses that opening and, you know, establishing theme in the opening to subvert it or contrast it with, with what is actually happening, with the party is actually your the deciding factor if you're going to hell or not. Well, technically it isn't. It's more about what you show during the party, but yeah, you know what? It's contrasting. And that's why it works. It's morbid, if you think about it. But here, it's just happy go, no, kind of happy go low key party music, kind of. But then the show tries to have that tone, but on contrasting tone as well, but it's not, but it, is, it isn't complimentary. It's just contrasting.
No, no, shut it. Hey. Who's depressed? The gullies. Ah, that's an explosion. But why an explosion? What? The fuck is that explosion about? Do, 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 do. <laughs> what is okay? Kick him in the head, give him the back of the head. Come on, you had a clear shot to get back off his head. Okay. Just stop with the fucking guts, you don't need to punch the shit out of him. You know, you follow them deeper into the fucking prison. Oh, 
Okay. That hurts. I oh, haven't stabbed him yet. The longer it takes for you to stab him, the less scared he is for himself. <laughs> well, that's a fucking shit sword breaker. Well, just think of him that's not having a dick. Might as well. If that makes it easier. I don't know that sensory helps. Doesn't make it worse, but it just doesn't help. Get the joke, but still. How the fuck? That is a weapon you shouldn't fucking use to save somebody with. Hair? I think that would snap your fucking wrist or cut it. Fucking okay, shitty punchline. Yep, shitty punchline. <sighs> okay. In the water. Okay. That's not make you able to go fucking through water. That's... Who the fuck designed this fucking place?
Okay. All right. <sighs> the trigger word. Okay. Okay. What oh, flashbang? Nah, it's not a flashbang. Ah. What? It was so entangled. Yeah, they're still in the stress. Why the fuck did it get pulled? Fuck's the string there. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so what well, just positions? Oh. Don't ask how wires work. Wired. What? Why was it sparking? It's it's in the <laughs> electro <laughs> electromechanical. Mm. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, just gonna squish them. No, it's just a box. <sighs> I've got the roof. Ah, we can gas them or something else. Ah, just explosions, okay. Yeah, there should be... <laughs> yeah, they should be blown out by this. Okay. Uh -huh. I brought up your fans. Okay. Yeah, maybe I just thought maybe one of another reason why the fucking fights are not compelling is that they, I think they keep just dragging it out. Has that been a very concise fight so far? Yeah, I don't think there really have been many concise concise fights, so it's probably another reason why it doesn't just not bad and it's not great. I'm just, I feel like the most most realistic fights are the fights that are most concise. Because fights end when somebody loses. And every single fucking fight is though, no matter where it comes from or whatever, if it has survived throughout the ages, it, it will always aim for the fastest, you know, fastest win. If that's subduing somebody, killing somebody, or something else. So as fast as possible, very concise. No use movements. You can have some flashy movements. But every single move should be useful. Hmm. Yeah, I think this anime really feels... When it comes to fighting, it feels like, ah, oh, the villain has an upper hand this episode. The, the our protagonist has an upper hand this episode, and so on and so forth. And it's, it's just not... It's not good. Mm. Well. I guess with that, that's it for this episode of Nambaka. Yeah, the show should already just stuck with a more lighthearted comedy tone in about just pr wacky things in prison instead of this action, very unconcise action anime. Oh. Well, either way, I guess with that said, that's it for this episode of Nambaka, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. And here are the people who decided to sell out their souls. <laughs> Welcome to hell.